Hi, everyone. Hi, Diamond Dolls. It's me, the Dear Diamonds. And this is Dear's channel. Now, hello, everyone, and welcome to this video. Now, if you're wondering why does the lighting and everything look so weird today, that's because... Right next to me is our dog, Chispita, and um, she gets scared when I take down my curtains. So yeah, Little Miss Diva, unfortunately, will get scared if I take down my curtains, so that's why the light may not look as good right now. But in the end, that doesn't matter because quite frankly, we're just gonna do a little inside look, look of my creative mind when it comes to doing certain things. Things, okay? Hey, that's what we're doing today. So. This lighting right here is not that important because it's not going to be the main focus of the video anyways. So yeah, what are we going to do today? Well today, hey, we're going to talk about my creative mind when it comes to doing my photo shoots. Now, I don't know, but in some of my videos I've been talking about how I do photo shoots for the month. And, well, I wanted to show you guys that because obviously I wanted to show you guys the creative process of what I do when it comes to doing this. And so why not get an in-depth look into it? So I'm going to take you on what I'm doing, what I plan on doing. And in the end, you'll get an idea of like what I do sometimes when it comes to my ideas of like photo shoots and all that. So yeah. But here we are outside of my house. Now this is where I was thinking of doing my photo shoot. Now I don't know if it's going to be here under this tree or right here in the bushes. I feel like what I'm going to do is have my mom do like test shoots to figure out if I want it here or figure out if I want it here. But the reason why I want it either here or here is because this kind of gives the illusion of like spring and then of course the months I'm doing are April and May and to me April and May are kind of like very, you know, spring looking, very flowery, full of, you know, plants and life. So that's why I'm having the idea of doing this. But this is, like I said, one photo shoot. And then the other one is going to be a, a different photo shoot. So yeah. But I feel like I need to figure out how I want this. But I'm pretty sure it's most likely going to be this area. Because, you know, I can stand up, you know, and use these flowers as props. So who knows? I feel like it might be this or it might be that. But I'll figure that out once we do the photo shoots. And I think I'm just gonna leave a picture of like, oh, this is the area I used, you know, when I edit my video later on to kind of show you, oh, like this was what I used as my photo shoot. So yeah. Now, originally, I was also gonna do a second photo shoot here, but um, yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work and I'll give you a reason why. I said I was planning on doing my second photo shoot here, and now you may ask yourself, well, why wouldn't you not do a photo shoot here? It's a nice area. Well, as you can see, this is a railing that we use. And although I am good at climbing over it, my mom is extremely scared of heights, so I'm pretty sure she would not want to do it. And if you don't believe me, let me just climb over and let me show you. All right, so here we are. Now, I'm sitting on the railing. <laughs> I would recommend not doing this especially the way I'm doing it with literally just socks. But obviously I've done this a couple of times whenever I left my keys at home. So I know how to do this safely in a way. But if you live in an area like me or just in general, I would recommend not doing this. It's, but yeah, and the reason why that is is because obviously this is very high up. Now the reason why I'm saying this won't happen as a photo shoot is because quite frankly my mom is scared of heights. And I'm pretty sure even if the cars that my dad drive were under us, she still would be scared. So yeah, as much as I like the idea of using this as a photo shoot, I don't think that's going to happen. Because of, you know, obviously my mom's fear of heights. So, And the last thing I want is for her to get scared <laughs> or get uncomfortable. So we'll just figure out another spot instead. And especially since my mom is the only one who does my photos for my photo shoot. So... Obviously, I care about her a lot and her safety. So, yeah, that's not going to happen. But, you know what? Who knows? Maybe eventually it end up happening if we find a way how to do this safely. But for now, that's not going to happen. But that's okay. So, let's just figure out another place where to do a photo shoot. I'm pretty sure I'll find something out because our house has a lot of nice places. So, yeah, we'll figure it out anyways. But, yeah. So I looked around, and if we're not going to do the photo shoot 
up there on the railings. We can do it here because this is a nice little area. Now, this was a water fountain that my mom converted into this little desert plant oasis. But this is a nice place to probably do a photo shoot. Ooh, all I feel like I need to do is just put like a towel right there so I don't get the outfit that I'm wearing, you know, dirty. So just maybe put a towel right there and then bam, we just got this nice little thing as the background. So yeah, that might be a good photo shoot idea. I don't know about you, but it looks pretty from here. Like that looks like a nice photo shoot area. So yeah, maybe this is where we'll have the second photo shoot at, because I do think it's pretty nice. It screams something that I feel like would look good with a photo. So yeah, I think this is a nice area, area. But of course now let's get back into the house and obviously let's show you the outfits that I have planned. So here we are, we're back in my room because obviously we're done showing you the locations of like where I was planning on having my photo shoots. And now what we're gonna do is show you the clothes. Now of course this won't be a good area to show you my clothes because basically you can't see it very well. Oh, especially since just be this still in my room. <laughs> so we're just gonna, you know, use my parents' room for a little bit to kind of show you the outfits that I'm thinking about wearing. So yeah, uh, let's go to the room next door and let me show you the idea of like what I plan on wearing, okay? So here we are, we're in my parents' room. Now I'm gonna use pretty much their bed just to display the clothes and kind of show you what I plan on wearing. Airing, but yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's show you the clothes and you know, we'll figure it out from there. So here we are, here are the clothes that I'm thinking about for April, which obviously this is gonna be posted like at the end of April, because we already are in April. But pretty much when I post this video, it's not April done yet, but you know, you get the idea. But these are what I was thinking for the month of April. Now this one, I feel like might be leggings underneath. This one obviously will have jeans. And then this one will obviously also have leggings because my legs are hairy, as you can see. So I wear leggings to get rid of my hairy legs. But I think out of all these three outfits, this is probably the one I'm gonna wear because it has the more spring look to it. It's very colorful and it has butterflies on it. I feel like that doesn't get any more spring than that. And also because I quite like how it's very colorful. So it kind of represents like what April I feel like really is, which is obviously spring season, even though, you know, spring is in March. But obviously it has that spring feel to it. It's so I feel like this might be the outfit that I most likely wear. I don't know. Oh, I think what I'll do is I'll post pictures of which outfit I chose, just like how I would take a picture of like what area of like whether I used it that tree or if I used it the brush, the brush, the bush as my photo, you know, as my photo shoot. So I feel like I'll do the same thing. Whichever item I used, I'll take a picture of it and kind of show you and after, not after, when I edit my video like of what the outfit I ultimately choose was. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So now let's get on to the other outfits for May and obviously give a little detail of what I'll do with it and obviously which outfit I end up choosing, okay? Now here we are and we have the outfits for May. Now obviously as you can see the color scheme is a little bit more different. It has that spring feel to it because obviously flowers, but obviously for me, I feel like since May is kind of like the last time of spring because after May is June and July, which obviously represents summer. Obviously, I like to think of like, oh, this is the ending of spring. And obviously, so more neutral colors make more sense versus having it be colorful. Whereas the other outfits for April obviously are very light, very colorful, whereas these ones are more darker still have the colorfulness because of the spring element of the flowers but obviously not as impactful as obviously the ones for april so i feel like this one is an option then we have this one too and then we also have this one now all of these will also have leggings so yeah but like i said just like for the one of april i think the outfit that i'll ultimately wear i'll take a picture of so yeah, 
habit. I don't know, for this one, I feel like the one I like the most maybe might be this one. So maybe this will probably be the outfit I'll wear. I don't know. But like I said, I'll take a photo of each outfit. And then when I edit my video, it's like, there you go. Now, you're also maybe asking yourself, wait, but you're saying April and then me. April's almost finished. Yes, I know. And I'll give a little detail of what I'm going to do or like why this is happening. Okay. So here we are. So that is... It for everything. I showed you the clothes, I showed you the ideas of what I was planning to do for my photo shoots. Boots. So there we go. Oh, now you may be asking yourself, why am I showing you this? Well, because, you know, this is something I've been doing during quarantine and I've been liking it so far. Now, of course, like I said, you may ask yourself, wait, but April's almost over. And especially when I post this, which is going to be next, which is not next Monday, but it's going to be on Monday, which is the 26th, which is all, which practically means that April's almost done. Why am I barely doing this right now? Well, quite frankly, unlike February or March, where obviously I had St. Patrick's Day and my birthday to kind of post for the month of these photo shoots, obviously April and May don't have that much significance or a holiday that makes me go like, oh yeah, automatically there. So obviously I waited until the end of the month to be like, oh, I'm going to post this until the end of April. And then obviously on May, it's going to be like, oh, the end of May. And then there. Because obviously, you know, there's not really a special holiday or significance that is like, oh, I should post these like on the 18th or obviously on whatever day St. Patrick's Day was on on, May, on March. But, you know, oh, so yeah. That's why I'm barely just <laughs> doing the photo shoot of April right now. But that's okay, because in the end, you know, the whole purpose of me doing these photo shoots is to kind of show, like, what the whole month means, basically. So, obviously, with me and April, they obviously signify spring to some people, much like how June, July, you know, everyone associates with summer. And then, obviously, August and September, obviously, people, some people do associate it with summer but then obviously if you're a lot more younger and you go to school you obviously associate it with going back to school so that's kind of like the aesthetic or the look i'm going for when it comes to these kind of fitting the theme of like either the season or if there's like a major holiday on you know some of these months it's like that's what i'm going for in a sense and and just showing like oh these are the outfits i would associate these months with you know what i'm saying so that's why hi right, so even though i did kind of do this photo shoot kind of late Obviously, April's not over, so obviously on the 30th of April, I'll post, you know, the photos to these photo shoots. So, so you get what I'm saying? I hope you do. Cool. I mean, like, that's what I'm doing. If you don't get it, <laughs> well, sorry. If you do, then you get it. But, oh, my God, there we go. That's today's video. So, obviously, you're not going to be able to see these photo shoots here, but obviously, if you follow me on Instagram or on TikTok, you'll be able to see them because I obviously post on TikTok because that's obviously the largest following I have. But I also post them the same exact day when I post them on my TikToks on my Instagram. Now, if you don't know what my Instagram or TikTok is, I will put them somewhere around here. I will post my TikTok and my Instagram somewhere around here. And they will also be in the description box. Uh, so, you know, if you want to check out the photos with whether it be on my TikTok or on my Instagram, they'll be here and they will also be in the description box. So you can just go ahead and check them out. Oh, but obviously, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my creative mind and my thought process of what I do. Ooh, especially since, like, you know, here we are still in quarantine, some of us. And, you know, I've, I obviously wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you guys like if you actually you know take the time schedule plan and even just think of what you can do creatively at your house maybe some of the things that you would do when you return back to the outside world or to school you'll be like hey all I got to do is just do some planning figure stuff out and maybe I can do some of these things because obviously for me it's like see I'm doing photo shoots here at my house I'm not going to big fancy places or going to big places that are very far from my house to 
think of a nice idea for a good photo shoot. I'm just using my house, using the resources and the things that I have with me. And look at that, they're coming out great. <laughs> well, at least for me. But in the end, it's like doing just that little of like using and paying attention to what's around you can help you, especially right now in quarantine where you can't obviously travel that much and you can't obviously go out as much because obviously you need to be considerate of others. Obviously, it's like just use the resources you have sometimes. And in the end, just doing that little shows you how when it comes to doing bigger things, you can obviously, you know, do it too because obviously you're thinking and you're using your brain and your imagination. But yeah, that was the importance of like why I wanted to show you this of like how, look at me, I'm using my mind even though I don't have that much resources and all that. But in the end, like I can still do good things. Just obviously trying my best but yeah that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it leave a like comment subscribe click the bell so you guys can get notified every single time i post a new video but until then that was me it's me d d and diamonds and i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye <sighs>